Good day, everyone. My name is Hannah, and I am loving, living, and inspiring through classical music, shared experiences, travel, and lessons learned. So in today's video, I'm going to talk about things that I shopped for in Rome. I will say that Rome is a place where I feel like you can get pretty much anything. It's a big city. At the time that I went in 2017, what I looked up were a bunch of luxury travelers talking about luxury shops you can go to, and that's just not something that I was able to afford. This video is more just about things that I got, not necessarily like extreme budget, but you know, kind of on a budget travel. I will say also none of the things in this video are things that I would say, oh, you must get this in Rome. Kind of like in Florence, how there's things that are really well known like leather or which I made a video on if you want to check that out also. <laughs> um, or Capri where you can get handmade sandals. I also made a video on shopping in Capri if you want to check that out as well. In Rome, I the things that I got were things that you could get in other places, but I just want to share some special shops and some special things that I got because I treasure it and I like sharing it. And if you are planning on traveling to Rome one day and you don't have a crazy amount of money like some of these travelers that I see um, sharing you know, their shopping experiences, then um, maybe this video can help you out. So the first thing that you can shop for in Rome, Italy is food. And one of the main places or one of the places that I first think of is Campo dei Fiori. You can get things like different flavors of limoncello. You can get, I remember seeing vegetables, fruit, cooking supplies. I got a teeny tiny little mocha pot, which is fun. I ended up not using it later on. I got my own in um, the US, that Bialetti brand name, which you can also find in Italy as well. This tiny little cup here, I think these are those little espresso cups. I love these things so much. I think they're so cute. And um, you know, it's, you can use the mocha pot with it. And um, I wanna say something like this was like uh, two or three euros probably, more or less. I, I honestly, when I went to Rome, I, um, wasn't going there with the intention of making a YouTube video about it. I made a channel, I think last year, and this was back in 2017 when I went there. So I wasn't documenting all the things that I got and how much that it cost. Okay, the second thing that you can shop for in Rome, Italy is leather, of course, Italy and leather. This shop specifically though, this is a shop called Ibiz Roma. I-B-I-Z Roma is what it's called. So I got this uh, green leather purse there and I just love this purse so much. It's super well made. If you look on the inside of it here, you, you can almost smell it just from looking at it you know and i honestly couldn't remember the shop name off the top of my head but they engraved it on a little tag in here so i was able to find it and they actually put the address here too so i definitely want to shout this place out because they were also super kind um the, in the shop there you could see them making um their leather supplies my mom also got some leather bracelets that she really liked over there they were super nice and i this shop specifically, I remember they said that if you ever have a repair that needed to be done, that it's like a lifetime guarantee. If you come back, they'll fix it for you. So I thought that was really awesome. And, and you know, it's pretty uh, verifiable that it's from there because it's literally ingrained in here. But this is, I just love this purse so much because I feel like this will last me a lifetime. It's so sturdy to the touch. I, I've gotten a lot of compliments too when I wear this because green green leather is such a unique colored purse. So, um, you know, a lot of people like it. And yeah, if you were to check out a, um, if you're looking for a purse or a messenger bag or bracelets, definitely go to this place. They were super reasonably priced. This purse, I want to say, was around 70 to 80 euros, which for the quality of this, I thought that was a great price. The third thing that you can shop for in Rome, Italy, 
well, it's not Rome, it's actually the Vatican, is uh, just things from the Vatican, pretty much. So rosaries, jewelry, or if you have any things that you want to put like on a table, you can get that at the Vatican. Before even going to the Vatican, I had like going on the inside of the museum or St. Peter's Basilica, you can get rosaries for like a euro or three euros or something like that. So this one, you know, it's not anything fancy, but it's just kind of fun to have. There's a picture of the Pope on there. <laughs> I don't know if you could see that or not on the inside of the actual Vatican Museum, they had a gift shop and this rosary was from there. Now this one actually has the scent, I'm showing this to you as if you can smell it, <laughs> but it has the scent, like rose scent on it. Unfortunately, I don't use it much because I wanna preserve it, but because I'm trying to preserve it, I'm probably <laughs> not using it much, but yeah, you can get some rosaries, and especially if you're someone who's very, you know, a devout Catholic, that could be a, a really special gift to have. One last thing from the Vatican, I also got this bracelet here. Again, it's not anything fancy, but it just looks like painted beads here. And um, another fun thing to have, price range, they weren't bad. This was probably around 15 euros, the rose-scented rosary. I want to say this was maybe... I don't know, probably five to ten euros, something around there if you're trying to price this stuff out. The last thing or the fourth thing that you can shop for in Rome, Italy, or at least things that I shopped for in Rome, Italy, is um, just random souvenirs. So this one, I um, this is a necklace that I got in that I got in Rome near the Trevi Fountain, which. I honestly don't remember the shop name. Um, I think it's so pretty though, so beautiful. Uh, this is, this was a little bit more, I wanna say it was around 35 euros or 40 euros, something around there. But I thought this was beautiful, so I got it. Um, other souvenirs that you can get are just typical things, like typical things like t-shirts. I have a, this is super wrinkly. <laughs> uh, a Roma t-shirt, I honestly just wear it for working out or exercising. Now this one I actually do use a lot. This is a coaster <laughs> that I got. It's supposed to be uh, marble, true Italian marble. It says In Vino Veritas and it has that S um, SPQR thing, which is something that I never noticed before, but you actually do see that around the city a lot. So this is a coaster. And then the, the last souvenir I wanted to share, which is actually, it's actually pretty, cool looking but unfortunately I don't use it because the color is just not a color I wear much um, but it's a scarf There's a look at that you got is that the Colosseum and it says Rome on it the whole reason I got this I honestly may not have gotten it but I was going to the Pantheon at Rome and the I was it was super hot that day it was like 85 degrees Fahrenheit and it was just blisteringly hot. So I was wearing a dress that was a tank top and apparently you have to cover your shoulders, you know, cover, covering up, you know, like this to get in there. Uh, so the guard stopped me, said I couldn't come in unless I had that. So I went to a souvenir stand and <laughs> got this for like 10 euros or something like that. And then I go in there and there was a lady you know, a couple people behind me who got in who was wearing the same type of tank top as me and was able to go in. I don't know if they just weren't paying attention or what. <laughs> but anyway, I got this as it's it's a nice souvenir. And the funny thing was, is I would not get it right next to the places like that because I bet, you know, whoever put the scarf sand next to the Pantheon was very smart because you know, if you're told you have to cover your shoulders, you're gonna have to find a place to buy it. So went there to get it. But if you go down like a block, the same exact thing was like five euros. So they were charging you double the price for that stuff. That's all I have uh, for my Rome shopping video. I hope you enjoyed it. I made another one if you guys are interested in Italy. I do have a travel playlist that you can check out with Italy and 
Um, it, Italy is just has a close place in my heart and I just think it's such a beautiful country. Thank you to everyone who, you know, watches these videos, to um, subscribing, to commenting, to liking the stuff. It really does warm my heart. I've honestly even made some genuine friends on just from making these videos and I know in a time where you know traveling is restricted you know I'm making travel videos but I'm sitting at home making the travel video in a time when traveling is restricted we're able to connect with others through YouTube and I just think that's so cool so um, thank you to everyone who views these videos and you know subscribing and it, it's it's truly wonderful to be able to connect with you all what about you have any of you been to uh rome or do you live in rome what are some of the things that you shop for that are not like super high ticket luxury things but you know within a normal type of budget where do you go because I, I definitely plan on going to rome again where do you suggest shopping or or do you plan on going to rome one day and are interested in some of these things let me know in the comments. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you next time. Bye.